Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about two things. One is about the root mean square speed, which is defined like this statistically. And uh, it is useful for describing the kind of the average, but the other kind, uh, the other approach of describing the average of for a group of molecules uh, speed. And we also using that to prove the kinematic formula, which is pressure equals to one third of density times C squared. And it was a very uh, genius design that leads to this equation under uh, a few assumptions that we talk about uh, for ideal gas. And so uh, let's not forget our section here. Hopefully is to introduce you the Boltzmann equation and I hope in the previous video you already finish up uh, page 11 on uh, proving the kinematic formula and now today we'll really talk about the Stefan Boltzmann equation which is this one okay and so right now uh, of course uh, if you like to you can uh, simply try to derive of course using the formula we proved last time to prove this equation if you like to Notice that uh, the one EK with a bar at the top here uh, means that the bar actually means that it is average. Okay, and uh, KB is actually stand for a constant, which is uh, simply the Stefan Boltzmann constant. And yeah, if you like to do so, you can uh, pause the video and try it now. If not, you could also try to uh, take a look of the test book here which uh, I feel is actually fine if you try to look through this but one thing that I would like you to find out here on my screen maybe your textbook is a bit different when it's updated but on my screen here I would actually like you to find out uh, there is a typo in this proof here and you know typo is quite common in this textbook somehow but I think it is interesting to find out the typo so pause the video now and try to find out the typo a few moments later okay so let's take a look uh, remember the whole idea is we want to find the expression for average kinetic energy other than half mc squared so here i think it's better for if the textbook could write like this okay and in fact we all know that kinetic formula uh, is half mv squared so here we use uh, the root mean square c to represent of course this is an equation that uh, is more like definition uh, but what we want to do right now is uh, Boltzmann the scientists in the past want to find another expression of the average random kinetic energy and that is the whole purpose of what we are going to do now okay so let's start with what we know which is the ideal gas law and remember this equation uh, was proven experimentally so we uh, simply rely on this first and the next thing is uh, we use the kinetic equation uh, proved by Maxwell and so that is the previous video that we talked about it took us uh, quite a long time to understand the whole thing and so it simply substitute P into like this equation into the P which is fine so I'll put a tick if I think that equation is okay okay so I think up to this step it is still all right the next thing that it does is uh, to use the density equation which is density equals to mass over volume and you should find there is an issue here because apparently it is simply just awkward like I, I, I don't even know what to say like it's simply wrong I mean how can you put a V into an index like this so uh, if you allow me to rewrite it I would rewrite here so uh, I would follow with the previous step that is one third and then the rho density will be replaced by m over v and you still keep the c square and then the v outside will be maintained here and then still on the right hand side is still n r t okay equals to n r t and so uh, you should be able to find the v got cancelled out like what is said in the next um, steps in the test book and so you should still have one third mc square uh, notice that this is a big m okay so this step is okay this step is apparently wrong so somehow i don't know why uh, they make 
I mean, maybe they just display this step wrongly, and then uh, they get it right later on. Um, like I said, this M is the big M, and so uh, pay attention that this big M is referring to the total mass, and it makes sense because when you talk about this uh, density, it is the total mass divided by the total volume. Okay, not only one single molecule or atom. And for the next step, what you do is uh, simply you know uh, total mass equal to the big N. Big N, remember, it is the number of molecule, which we mentioned in the first video uh, in 3.2. And then the small m is the mass of one single molecule. And therefore, you can find uh, the total mass. So you can imagine uh, the big N is like in a class, uh, this, you got uh, 30 students. And then uh, M is like the individual um, mass, and you can find the total mass of everyone add together. So uh, for the small end, which is uh, the definition, this is small end is the number of mole, right? And then the big end divided by the Avogadro kind of constant. So if you try to do this, and the whole steps is still valid, okay, which is uh, totally fine. And apparently, you can see uh, the end. Once again, uh, it should be able to cancel out on each side. So you should find this end and this end cancel. And I actually have no idea why this end is still here. So at the end, you should have, instead of having this, you should actually have only half small m c squared, which is exactly the equation that we mentioned at the beginning which is the expression for average random kinetic energy which would equal to 3 over 2 R over R is the gas constant over Avogadro constant over T and that is simply the expression for average random kinetic energy and that is what is written here again uh, so this is okay so here you can see um, just now the task I gave you, you actually have two typo. One is on the third row here, one is on the last row here. Okay, I don't know why they make such a so many mistakes here. But then I hope throughout the you know by checking uh, you can you can even consolidate your your own uh, deduction as well. So at the end, uh, what Boseman could think of is hey, since in this equation um, of course first of all it's valid and at the same time here you can see both of these two are constant, constant numbers. And so um, he just said, hey, then I can actually keep it uh, as another constant. So he actually used his name, Boseman, to uh, name this constant. So actually, you, you may think, hey, this is not something that um, sound very constructive, right? Maybe uh, I can say, oh, um, uh, as say maybe um, I'm Mr. Wong, so I maybe I oh, okay, just constant uh, create a new constant called uh, say one constant okay I just make it up and then uh, I just somehow oh, I let's use a uh, pi over uh, big G how about that all right I just create this constant so pi is like the uh, for the circle like that pi and G is like the gravitational constant um, can I use this uh, I could but then the thing is uh, no one will find useful because simply it's just useless probably Okay, here it is very useful because the thing is, uh, when you find out this equivalent in this formula, the most interesting thing is uh, the random kinetic, average random kinetic energy uh, would be related only on T, the big T. And the big T is actually simply temperature, right? And this is the most important part of having this equation, which actually I ask you here. What is why? Why is it one of the greatest achievement uh, for Boseman to have you know this equation? Uh, and the idea is simply you since you express this equation, you also express that it equals to half m c squared. And if you pay attention closely to this, 
you will find out um, these two, the small m and then the c square is referring to the microscopic view, right? Which means in particle views, right? Down to that level. While for the big T, the big T is in fact what we call a micro, sorry, a macroscopic view. And um, the idea of the existence of this formula simply connects the well between microscopic and macroscopic, and that is very important. Explosion. If you recall uh, what you learned in uh, primary or junior secondary, probably the first few lessons when we talk about uh, state of matter in science, we always say, hey, uh, when temperature increase, then the kinetic energy of the particle increase and therefore uh, the separation between the particle uh, will increase. All right. And then back to that time, I'm not sure if you were convinced. Maybe you were, at least I were convinced when I was studying in primary or junior secondary, but then ultimately how to actually prove it mathematically is actually using what we did just now. And this is uh, very important as a foundation in thermodynamics. So I hope just now that proof will be easy for you. Uh, but one thing that people usually overlook is the idea of average and total. So just now that equation, okay, let me write again, is 3 over 2 Boltzmann constant times T. And recall that this is so-called the average random kinetic energy. Whenever you talk about average, it is referring to one single particle. So that's why we earlier wrote it is half small m instead of big M of uh, c squared. So what it means is when you talk about say um, the average height for example okay so say maybe I put simply height with a bar so average height of student in the class then you may say hey, after you calculate uh, simply add them up together then divided by the number of student uh, then you may find out hey it's about uh, 171 cm let's say and so recall that 171 cm should be roughly the height of one person instead of all of them okay so this is an idea of what it means by average average means one only instead of a group the whole group in total okay so if you really want to express the total random kinetic energy apparently you have to multiply with number of molecules so that's why we have an expression here if you want to express that the total random kinetic energy which actually means internal energy for ideal gas the reason is that for ideal gas there's no potential energy and therefore for internal energy which if you remember it should equal to kd plus PD, right? But in that case, since PD is already zero, so uh, all internal energy is simply kinetic energy. So in that case, uh, you can simply calculate the internal energy by using this equation, which is uh, simply multiplied the whole equation with the big N from the previous. So uh, you can then say U equals to three over, it's simply the same as what we have here. But then you multiply it with the total number of molecules, big N. So, uh, and therefore there's an expression here. And since we could uh, actually recall the Boltzmann constant was simply gas constant divided by Avogadro constant. So you can actually get uh, another expression if you, if you like to, using the number of mole instead. Okay, so these two will simply be equivalent. And then again, when you look into the expression of these, then you should find, hey, this actually look quite familiar because this is NLT and recorded, recorded that ideal gas law is PV equals to NLT. So you can actually replace it, the NLT by P times V. So there is another expression for total uh, 
random kinetic energy, which is internal energy also. Okay, so depending on uh, the question or the given information, uh, you can use either one, two, or three for calculating the total random kinetic energy. Um, just like when you do a certain question, um, sometimes you just find one of them is more handy than the others. Okay, so last but not least, I would like to remind you several things when you apply the equation and uh, doing it in the IB. As you know, this is the data booklet they have given to you. And uh, if you try to look at this, this is the average random kinetic energy. And you would want to put down the definition of it as well, which is one half of um, the m small m c square, uh, which is the definition of it. At the same time, you may want to put down the total Okay, so you may want to write down this is average. This is total uh, equals to half because we have uh, simply multiplied this with end. So you can say end m c squared also, or you can put it as uh, what we said three over two p v or three over two n l t also. So both all of these. Uh, would simply be valid as well. So uh, sometimes we may use some of these and whenever you try to substitute this small m in the equation, uh, be careful that the unit is in kg, okay? And uh, that is quite important. Uh, if you substitute into something else like gram, it would be wrong simply. And uh, one thing that people may usually get confused is uh, earlier we talked about the molar mass okay molar mass is with the unit of gram per mole so that would be the usual confusion people would have uh, when learning this chapter because for molar mass is somehow gram per mole because it's I think it's defined by the chemist first and we follow that and then uh, kg is apparently worked out by uh, the physicists so we still stick with the SI unit kg so I think by now you should have already uh, written down all these things on page uh, 12 for the proof and also answering this question. Uh, in the next video, we will start to try applying the things that we learned in this video. And uh, for now, if you want, you may start doing the next three questions and we will explain in the next video.